Vice Jason Shadwick with Premier Guitar, and we are at the Anaheim NAMM Show 2022, and we're here with Christian from Eventide, and we are going to be talking about these 4.9 pedals. And before, we just heard uh, one stereo version of it, we're going to hear another stereo version at the end, but why don't you walk us through these four pedals and tell us what they're about. Okay, so what you guys heard in the beginning was like a mega effects chain. I actually had Micro Pitch, Triceracorus, Ultra Tab, and Black Hole all running at once, so why don't I just break down what I was doing? So we'll start with the micro pitch all the way to the right. Uh, micro pitch was kind of discovered by accident from running two H910 processors slightly out of tune. So what you have here is two different delays and two different pitches happening at the same time. And what that results in is a huge stereo spread. And that was made famous by Eddie Van Halen. So here's the sound that you might all be familiar with. It's, a, it's like a nice dry chorusing sound. Right, so really wide stereo spread. Now, when you put some, uh, some dirt on that, it becomes pretty formidable. So a really beautiful rock tone. Okay, so let's, let's keep moving along. So, um, Next in the chain, I have the Triceracorus pedal. And this is, uh, this is based on classic Bucket Brigade style chorusing. So you have a really, really lush chorus sound. We have three different chorus effects, chorus, vibrato, and chorale mode. And chorale mode is like that, or um, chorus mode is kind of like that, your classic CE2, CE1 sound. Uh, vibrato obviously is, you know, your classic chorus vibrato sound. And then Corral mode is like those Ditronics um, rack processors from the 80s that were famous, made famous by like Mike Landau. So let me just play what that sounds like. It was a nice clean tone. So uh, right off the bat you can hear, you have a, like a, a very wet, beautiful, warm. Right, and now we also, I want to talk about this one button on here called the, the swirl. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a dedicated, uh, obviously a dedicated feature. And this brings in kind of like a pseudo um, univibe type sound. So, here else, like a nice phase. Yeah. Right, now add some dirt on that too and you get almost like that Hendrix type vibe. So you hear that phase kind of thing yeah. happening? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And so, and all of these, one feature across all of them is that you're able to save presets, yes. right? Yes, yes, there's five presets on each pedal, on board each pedal, and then through uh, MIDI, you have access to 127. We have even tied device manager that you can just connect via USB. We have some killer presets saved already. So, yeah. All right, let's move on down. We have the Ultra Tap okay. up next. So Ultra Tap is kind of blurs the lines between a delay pedal and uh, a reverb pedal. It's like a Swiss Army knife for a sound designer. You can do some crazy tremolo stuff, some glitch stuff. Um, and I was running it through that example just with two taps, so you'll hear a left and right thing. And then I like to do like that polyrhythmic type stuff off that, so. Yeah, it's like a ping pong type thing. Exactly, exactly. And that's a. I mean, that's only one of the features, obviously. It's also got a really nice just tremolo. So check this out. It's just like a very nice old school trem sound. Now for something like this, you say, are you able to maybe hook it up for deeper editing in addition to MIDI? Yes, absolutely. Like, 
again, you can you can get, use our free software, Eventide uh, Device Manager, and you have control over every parameter. If you like, you know, editing a pedal on a computer, you can do that. But it's also very tangible as well. Yeah. You don't need that. You can literally just go down, and um, you know, the controls are very accessible. Right. right. All right. So we have the black hole, which a lot of people know from. The H9 setting. Yes, the black hole is one of our most classic algorithms. It first appeared in the uh, DSP 4000, and it's been used in movies, like it's used in Prometheus and Blade Runner 2049. It's really great at creating ethereal sounding reverbs. Mm -hmm. So let me play what that sounds like. So let me just bring the mix up. So really, the mix and the size knob are super important on this thing. Like I, I like to really utilize it for tremolo picking, with like with some, with gain. So. So I like to do those kind of like sound design type things just by utilizing the mix and the size knob. Oh, cool. And then we have positive gravity and negative gravity. You can get like an inverse reverb happening. This is a really uh, amazing, amazing classic even tide pedal. Yeah. Super so what will be, everybody will be asking, what will be, these are available now, available now. And what will be the price on them? Price is $299 and you can grab them right now. We kind of did a soft release, but we never did a proper release because we were kind of killed with the pandemic. Right. So we. We wanted to give the attention they deserve during NAM. Of course. So you can learn more at eventideaudio.com. Obviously, you can learn more at Premier Guitar. And uh, we go. it's a pleasure, nice. man. Well, Christian, thank you so much. We're going to cut now to you doing a stereo field demonstration of, of everything we just talked about. So thanks for showing us these pedals. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, my man. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar.